Like last time, today we will be trying another food hack. So same thing, we will watch the video first, we will talk a little bit about it and then we will jump straight into making it, okay? So apparently today we will be making a cereal. This is a cereal hack. Okay, so we watch the video now. Okay, so it's uh, 5 slices of bread, okay, yes. Butter and 1 tablespoon of cinnamon sugar that you cook. Okay, or add milk and then just... Oh, 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 like that only, okay. Okay, wow, very fast, huh? Very, very quick. Okay, doesn't seem like there's too many steps, same like the ice cream video last time. It's very simple. To be honest, after watching this, I have no idea why you will be making your own cereal. I mean, it seems a little dumb considering buying cereal takes much less time, I would think. But I understand, you know, maybe you are drunk one morning or maybe you are just come back from work and there is nothing, no food in your house. You only have bread, maybe some sugar and some butter and that's it, you know? And then you're like, Ayah, what to do? I don't know what to make. Personally, I will always have food in my house but I understand, auntie understand, okay? Some of you might not have, maybe some of you college student, huh? maybe you don't know how to make food, huh? so I understand, okay? Sometimes desperate, desperate times call for desperate measures. Huh? As it is said, in this video, we are going to make cinnamon toast crunch with actual toast. Okay, so let's get into it. Huh? Alright, we are in business now. Okay, so looking back at the video, right, the first thing he did was use five slices of bread and cut into small little cubes. However, uh, the bread that he used is just normal white bread, I think, okay? I don't have normal white bread because personally, I hate normal white bread. So I'm going to be using my fruit bread, okay? And this is very good fruit bread, huh? it comes straight from the bakery, you know, so it's very high quality stuff. Huh? And I'm also not going to be using five because frankly, it's just me. It's just me who is going to be eating this, so I don't need that much. I'm just going to use three slices of bread, okay? And these are quite thick slices also, so I think I think it should be okay. I know I'm not going to use five. So we are going to cut this now into small little cubes, okay? As per the video. Oh, okay, so now we have these slices of bread now. Some of them are not quite the same size, but uh, it's okay. So they're about this small now, very nice. Mmm, auntie like fruit bread ah. Oh, ayah, I just forgot one step. I forgot he, he rolled the bread first, okay, okay, never mind. So now we're going to roll the bread. I know I've already cut it, but it's okay. We're still going to try and roll it, okay, it doesn't matter. I'm sure it doesn't. But since I already cut everything, I'm just going to use the back of this plate and smash everything down, okay? So it should work the same way. Yeah! Ugh. Oh my goodness, it's stuck to the back of my plate. Everything is fine. <laughs> Everything is fine, everybody calm down. Okay, I think need to smash some more. Yeah, whatever lah, can lah. In this video, he said to use cinnamon sugar, one tablespoon of cinnamon sugar. However, he does not specify the ratio of cinnamon to sugar, so I am just going to agar agar myself, okay, as if I am making French toast, right? Because why not, right? So I have some cinnamon here. I'm just going to put this into the same bowl that I used to smash the bread. Roughly that much, ah? Huh? What do you think? Yeah, I think that's okay. Okay, so we have the sugar now. This is just some caster sugar, okay? I'm just going to roughly say maybe... Yeah, I think that looks about right, ah? Huh? So I'm just going to mix this cinnamon sugar with my hand. Preferably, don't make a mess while you're doing this. He used 2 tablespoons of butter. Now unfortunately, I don't have butter because frankly, I don't really cook using butter. But I do have margarine. So I'm going to use 2 tablespoons of margarine. It's the same shit anyway. Huh? Okay, so this is the other side of my kitchen. As you can tell, uh, my stove is already on. Okay, there's a fire underneath. Uh, not too big of a fire, just a small one, okay? And uh, my exhaust fan is also on. Huh? So I'm going to start by putting in 2 tablespoons of margarine into my pan, okay? One and two. Okay, so now I'm just going to let this melt uh, a little bit, okay? Um, after he put the butter in, he put the cinnamon sugar inside straight away and then he put inside the bread. So I'm just going to put in my cinnamon sugar now. Okay, cinnamon sugar. Uh. Okay, so 
Okay, in. Okay. Now I need a spatula. I'm going to mix, mix, ah. Huh? Okay, then I'm going to put in my bread straight away. Okay, here's my bread. Uh, my bread is not as flat as his one, ah. Huh? Uh, because I think my bread is not as soft as his. So it did not uh, flatten as well. But it's okay. It's fine. Okay, so I'm going to turn my fire up a little bit. Use some wok hay, you know, ah. Huh? So now I'm just going to stir my bread around to help the bread absorb all the sugar and the butter, ah. Huh? I will keep cooking this until it crisps up a bit. I just put another clump of margarine in there. And I am just stir frying this a little bit. Hopefully, the it will absorb more oil and then crisp up even more. So this is after cooking for a while. The bread has definitely absorbed all of the margarine already, and I cannot afford to cook it any longer because, as you can see, some parts are already starting to blacken. So I, I cannot cook it any longer; otherwise, it will burn. Okay. Unfortunately, they did not really crisp up. Some areas I can see like this one maybe a little bit crispy but this one for example is still quite soft uh, I think maybe this bread is not so suitable It's definitely not because it's too moist because this bread is actually quite stale It's been in my fridge for a very long time already um, But for some reason uh, it's, still, it's still very soft you know I don't understand why uh. So what I think I'm going to do is I think the bread needs to rest to crisp up some more So I'm going to let it rest for a little while and I'll come right back and then we'll see what happened. One eternity later. It has been a while now that I have been letting the cinnamon sugar toast rest. And it looks like this now. I know some of it looks very black. Uh, but that is a combination of the caramelization of all the sugar and also maybe a little bit burnt. It actually doesn't look too bad. I'm going to try this one here. Oh! Okay! Look at it! Okay! I don't know if you can hear that, but there is a slight crunch to it. Mm. Very addictive stuff, huh? There is a little bit of crunch. The only thing is that it's a little bit black, but it's okay. Let me add some milk to this and see if I can really eat it like cereal. Okay, so we have our bowl of cinnamon sugar toast here. And my milk of choice today is almond milk. Now we are going to see if this is going to work, huh? Okay, in goes the almond milk. All right, there you go. Wow, wow. looks really black now from here. Huh? We're going to try one piece. Okay, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's a little bit crunchy, but it's not better than regular cereal. I would rather still eat normal cereal. Okay, one more thing. I'm also starting to notice that this cinnamon toast crunch cereal, uh, it really absorbs the milk very, very fast. I have only put the milk in for a short period of time, but it's already becoming very, very soggy. So that is one thing to note. I know that there are certain things that I didn't do 100%, so I'm going to give this recipe another try to see if the second time I can do it better, okay? A few moments later. So back to the kitchen, round two, okay? Ah, so we are still going to be using the same bread because I don't have any other bread to be honest with you uh, But this time, I have removed, as you can see from the many holes in my bread Remove all of the fruit in the bread Because I noticed that while I was frying, the fruit uh, maybe was making the bread moist You know, so it's not crisping up fast enough So I have removed a majority of the raisins and the fruit in this bread And now I'm going to flatten it to see if I can get it as flat as possible so that it will cook better, huh? Using a real rolling pin this time. I am also only using one piece of bread because I don't really need that much cereal. Alright, so my bread seems to be quite thin now. Uh, it's even more thin because I've taken out all of the fruit. <laughs> so now I'm going to cut it like I did last time. I am also cutting my bread a lot smaller this time. The size and the flatness, uh, the thinness really does matter, okay? So something that I'm noticing right now, if I had normal, just your stock standard white bread, 
if you were to flatten it, it will flatten and stay flat. Huh? But I think this one is a little bit too dense, it's a little bit too bouncy and too fluffy. Just now I really really press ah. you saw me press ah, just now ah, with the with the uh, rolling pin ah. but it still bounce back, you know. <laughs> it's still it's still bouncing back. It just wants to be very fluffy and bouncy, which is a good thing. That's what I like in my bread, you know. But uh, for this recipe, maybe not so good ah, because you need bread to be quite flat, you know. But not to all of you, um, if you want to try this recipe, just get normal white bread. The shitty one from the store, ah, because those ones will really stay flat. This nice bread, ah, they don't stay flat. <laughs> Sorry lah, what can I say? Auntie like quality, you know. <laughs> no lah, I'm just joking. You see, I spent so much time flattening just now, and the bread is still quite fluffy. It's still quite dense. So, it's just... It's just my my bread type, okay? Just don't buy my bread type next time. Even after I have removed all of the raisin, uh, it still wants to maintain its shape. <laughs> it's quite incredible actually. <laughs> Round two now on the stove, okay? First things first, we add the butter. I'm using less butter this time because there is much less bread. Mixing up my cinnamon sugar, okay? Oh, can you see? Can you see? It's actually starting to look a lot better than last time, you know? For one thing, the sugar is not clumping up. It's actually maintaining a nice liquid form. So that's a good sign. Now we're going to pour the bread in, okay? Wish me luck! Okay, the bread is absorbing all of the sugar and margarine mixture very nicely. Now to see if it starts to fry without burning. My fire is all the way down to low, you know, so I don't have a, a big fire going on. Ah. A very small wok hay, you know. We shall see now if it starts to fry properly. Okay, fingers crossed. It doesn't seem to want to fry nicely, so I think I might have to turn up the heat a little bit. I had it on this uh, hob. But I had to take it off the hob because it was starting to burn a little bit. Uh, it has not turned black yet. It's still a uh, 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 brown. A little bit more and it, it would have 100% burn already. Uh. They are still very soft. They have not properly uh, crisped up. Uh. So I'm going to give them some time. The video did not say anything about resting the toast. So uh, I did not know you have to rest or anything. Okay. <sighs> You were not here to, you were not here to see or hear this, but my smoke alarm went off just now. So, this is the culprit of the stupid alarm going off. As you can see, same thing as last time, it turned black again. So uh, I definitely overcooked this stupid thing. I was just trying to make it crispy, but it just would not crisp for some reason. And the video does not say how long you're supposed to cook it for. Uh, so I'm going to let this rest for a while. Um, until it's not so hot anymore and then we'll come back and see how it goes Okay, so I have let the second batch rest for a while Now we are going to try uh, one piece This is the one of the lesser burnt ones that I could find Okay Yeah There is a little bit of crunch Okay Hmm. Yeah I can say that the smaller size help a little bit with the help a little bit more with the cooking, but as you can see, it still was not crisping up properly as uh, as the video. I am not even going to bother eating this with milk. So the taste is not bad. It's just a little bit too caramelized for me. The problem is with the bread that I use. So if you're going to try this recipe at home, don't even bother with nice bread. Okay, just buy the cheapest white bread you can find and your result will most likely look more like the video than mine. But for today's episode, based on my experiences and based on everything that happened today, it's going to be a no from auntie. So my advice is, if you want cereal and you don't have dietary problems or whatever, just go and get yourself some cereal, okay? Don't be lazy, ah. Huh? Don't need all the hassle of cutting, rolling lah, huh? And then put the thing here, uh, cook and all these things, and then have to wash dishes some more. Ay, oh my goodness, huh? What is such a simple process of just Opening a bag of cereal, pour inside there, and then put milk inside have now suddenly turned into a whole afternoon's worth of work. It just seemed like a lot of work 
without very much payoff to be honest and you know sometimes i understand okay sometimes you really don't have time to cook no time to go shopping huh? maybe you come back from a long trip and you have nothing in your fridge and it's late and you don't want to go out again but you really need to eat because you're hungry right that's why my advice to you is always always make sure you have some long shelf life things inside your pantry okay so that's rice huh? pasta noodle huh? or just noodle in general okay then pasta maybe a maybe a some pasta sauce in there or some tuna okay so if you're hungry you have bread right I, I assume if you're going to make cinnamon toast crunch you must have bread at home correct or not so if you have bread and you have tuna in the fridge you can make tuna sandwich okay and then if you have rice or, or better yet you got pasta and pasta sauce you can make a quick pasta together okay and eat all those things all those things is better than doing this all right and it's probably much more nutritious for you compared to sugar butter and and bread i mean you know even if you don't have cereal you know you can just keep biscuits i'm sure you can buy that and just put it inside your pantry i just i don't understand why you would make this when the, you can just get it you know it just makes no sense to me but anyway that is just auntie okay that's just me don't get offense thank you so much for joining auntie on auntie kia's okay or not this has been a very fun episode and I hope to see you again soon on my next one. Take care and make sure you drink a lot of water. Bye!